I think a lot of actors feel like outsiders. And uh, I felt very much like an outsider at school. I worked on a pig farm for a little bit. Um, and then I worked as a hospital porter. And I ended up working uh, in the operating theatres and in the morgue and all kinds of strange sort of places in a hospital. And that kind of really brought me for the first time face to face with, um, with the world, I think, with the real world. It's a really intense place to work a hospital because exactly that reason. You can be doing something utterly mundane, taking a, um, you know, a piece of some blood from one place to another and the next minute you're right by somebody's bed watching them die because you're in charge of what they call then a crash trolley which was, you know, had all the clear <laughs> stuff and all the adrenaline on it and all that stuff and you have to fly to the ward and be there and stand there at the end of the bed and you would watch the last flicker of somebody's life. Now some people are very cool about that and fine, but other people are freaking the fuck out and their, their feelings at that moment are so intense and so focused on what they're about to do and they're so alive. Death, life, birth, fear, excitement, dread, all these things would pass through your transom in the course of two hours. It was a real eye-opener and I think I grew up a great deal in those couple of years. I know a few people who are very, very well known and uh, I'm not sure if that Faustian pact is worth it. The pact that you make where you say, I want to be fuck off famous. One minute you can have total approbation thrown at you and the next minute nobody, somebody will go, well, are you famous? I've never seen you before in my life. And so you're constantly dragged up and down a kind of a sense of a sort of emotional approbation roller coaster. The most important thing is to be able to is to be able to remain in some way anonymous, because that way that you you can still look at the world with a, a, a real person's eye. The place that I'm really scared of going is the place where I don't feel I'm doing anything. Every now and then on films, I you go that there that moment, then I wasn't me, I was something in that moment that wasn't me. And most of the time I am me, I kind of, I can see it. That's why I can, I can only watch things that I've been in once. After that, I just, the smell of rotting fish is just too pungent and I can't watch it anymore. I can only watch it once, because then afterwards, the kind of magic is gone.